So today we will be talking about estimating using decimal. There are four ways that we can estimate any of our operations using uh, decimals. So the first one that we will look at is called clustering. So say we have this addition problem. 198 and 45 hundredths plus 210 and six tenths plus 194 and four tenths. That's a lot of addition, but if we just want to find an estimate and about how much is that, we can see that they cluster all around a really easy number. We can see that all of these numbers are really close to 200. So if we were to estimate, we could maybe make all of these 200, and when we add those together, we get 600. So if we actually did the addition for here, just so that you, you can see how close we are, we get 603 and 4,500. So our estimate was pretty close. So let's take a look at this problem. Eight and 6,355 ten thousands minus five and 39 thousands. Okay, that's a lot of math to do. So what would happen if we rounded to say the hundreds place? So whenever we round, we always look to the next digit. And if it's five or greater, then we can uh, bump this up. So this could be written eight and 64 hundredths. This could be written as five and four hundredths, okay? So when we bump this up, then we just drop the rest of those off. Now we could do this subtraction maybe a little easier, okay? And we would get three and 60 hundredths, or if we drop that last zero, three and six tenths. So that is an about, an approximation. So now we can do what's called compatible numbers. So let's make the numbers easy so that we can do the operation easier. So we have 26 and 76 hundredths and two and 93 hundredths, and we're multiplying them. So if we want to find an approximation, we could say, well, 26 and 76 hundredths is really close to 25. And two and 93 hundredths is really close to three. So if we did 25 times three, that looks easier. 25 times three, we get 75. So this is a approximately 75. And then finally, we can use what's called front end estimation. So what this does is it kind of breaks the whole number and the decimal apart. And we get a range of what our actual sum difference, whatever that might be, okay? So if we look at first adding only the whole numbers, so we get nine, 22, and eight. If we added that, we can use that and we get 39, okay? Now what we are going to do is look at the decimal point. So we have 99 hundredths, 89 hundredths, and three tenths. And what we are going to do is to bump them to the closest whole number or 0.5 or half. So in other words, this 0 0.99, 99 hundredths, we're gonna to bump to a one. This 0 0.89 or 89 hundredths, we're gonna bump to a one. This 0 0.3 or 3 tenths, we're going to bump that to a 0.5. That's pretty close. When we add one plus one plus a half, we get two and a half. Okay, so now what we are going to do to find our range, we're going to take 39 when we added our whole numbers, and then we're going to add 2.5 to it. And we get 41.5, 41 and a half. So our range 
is somewhere between 39 and 41.5. Those are four methods that we can use to estimate using decimal. 